My name is Bramis, Chrome Developer Relations Engineer here at Google, and this is Unleash the Power of Scroll-Driven Animations. Wow, what a journey this has been. I hope I was able to show you what you can achieve using scroll-driven animations and how to implement them using either CSS or JavaScript. The easiest way to get started with scroll-driven animations is to take an existing animation, remove the set duration, and attach a timeline to it. Remember that by leveraging the existing CSS and web animations APIs, scroll-driven animations inherit all advantages these two APIs bring. That includes the ability to run these animations off the main thread where possible. As I have shown you through the series, there are a lot of options to tweak, such as the ability to attach an animation to only a part of the full range, or to track elements situated way at the other side of the DOM tree. There are so many more effects than the ones I have shown you here that you can achieve with scroll-driven animations. All demos covered in this series, along with a few more, can be found over at scrolldrivenanimations.style, your one-stop shop for all your scroll-driven animations needs. Feel free to share the demos and implementations you have made by leaving a comment here underneath the video or by reaching out on social media. I'm very curious to see what you are building with this amazing technology. And in the meantime, keep on scrolling. Bye. Thank you.